Hi friends, this video is from interview.com. Welcome to Spring MVC tutorial. In the previous video, we saw what is view resolve. In this video, I'm going to talk about servlet mapping. What is servlet mapping? Servlet mapping in Spring framework. Servlet mapping specifies which Java servlet should be invoked for a URL given by client. It maps URL patterns to servlets. When there is a request from a client, servlet container decides to which application it should forward to. Servlet should be registered with the servlet container. I'll show you in the code how exactly we are registering our servlets to the servlet container. To register, you should add entries in web deployment descriptor, web.xml file. But in the current demo application, we don't need because in the latest version, you don't need web.xml file. Using the Java class itself, you can register your servlet with the servlet context. So, in this tag, in the earlier we were using web.xml file, in this we will have a servlet mapping and the name of the servlet and the URL pattern. This means whenever an URL is triggered from the browser like this, this is the servlet that's going to take the control. Okay, so this is this is how we used to do the servlet mapping. I'll show you how exactly done in our demo application. There is a class, there is a class created like initializer and it's going to implement the web application initializer. This is you can see here this is from the spring framework. And whenever you implement it, you have to give an implementation code for on startup method. So what happens? Tomcat when it starts, it will try to find out classes which is implementing web application initializer then on startup method will be called then we are going to hook our application so we are creating the spring application context then we are giving our config class config class is the one where we are getting all our beans we all the our beans will be initialized okay and we are doing a lot of config spring configuration in this class so we are giving our web app config class and we are registering it then we are creating our dispatcher servlet spring dispatcher servlet if you see here this is from the spring framework and we are creating the dispatcher servlet and we are adding that servlet to the servlet context that means we are registering our dispatcher servlet to the servlet context and we are also adding mapping that means whenever a request is raised from the browser using this URL pattern our dispatcher servlet will be triggered then say for example the, the end user is triggering this this URL what will happen it will reach till here it will reach the dispatch server and dispatch server will try to find out who, who which controller has this mapping so if you see here we have the hotel controller which has this mapping so it will try to find out hotel controller then it will forward the request okay so till till here it is it will reach the dispatcher servlet and dispatcher servlet will try to find out what is this and what is this okay so this is how we are we are able to register our dispatcher servlet and ser servlet mapping I th just talked about a servlet mapping in brief in the next video I'll be talking about URL pattern in detail thank you and all the best